Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maddie again. I decided I want to do a bag switch. Um, did this not that long ago, but just feeling that itch again. Just I did that video about the three purses and I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch my bags. So from my last bag switch video, this was the purse I was carrying, switching into. It's my Betsy Johnson. Just a simple little crossbody purse here. Super cute. Loved it. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just ready for a new one. Um, so I just showed you guys this in the other video, but I'm totally going to switch into my Poppy purse. I love this bag. It's like a tried and true, uh, tried and true for me. Just always seem to come back to it. It's so cute. It can fit a lot. And I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into it. Um... This is the wallet I'm going to be switching into. This wallet in particular came off of Amazon. It is a, sorry, I'm always like itching. I have dry skin, so like the area by my nose gets itchy, like around my eyes and stuff. So I mean, I put lotion on, but I just live in a really dry place right now because of the cold. So that's why I'm always like kind of itching. But this is a, it looks like a Louis Vuitton. It is a dupe. Dupes. Everyone has a different opinion on dupes. Some people think it's bad to buy dupes. Some people think it's just, I don't know. I don't necessarily think it's bad to buy a dupe, which is something that is similar in style to a designer brand, such as Louis Vuitton. This is obviously like the checker print that you would see on a Louis Vuitton wallet, speedy, whatever. Um, I see this as <clears throat> other, like, people like, let's say, Michael Kors will design their bags in a way that is similar to even higher-end brands. It's, it's almost like mimicry, but you're making it enough of your own that it's not the same thing. That's what I think this is. This does not have a um, stamp saying Louis Vuitton anywhere on here. So I don't believe it's like me sitting here saying like, I want to walk up to you and say this is a Louis Vuitton. This is not a Louis Vuitton. It's very obvious. It's just similar pattern. It's a similar concept. So I don't endorse replicas. Replicas are different. Replicas, they are making it almost exactly the same as the purse that like a Louis Vuitton. They are illegal. It's illegal to do that. You can't stamp somebody else's name on a product and say that it's, you know, it's, it's not okay because that's trademark. That's a trademark issue at that point. This is turning into something else now. I always seem to do this, but I wanted to address that because this does look like a Louis Vuitton. I don't like replicas. Replicas, there are plenty of people who carry them. It's not necessarily a smart idea, but there are plenty of people who do, and you're free to buy it if you'd like. It's not necessarily for me. I'm not someone to judge you. I'm not going to say, oh, you're a terrible person because you carry a replica. It's just, it's better to be safe than sorry. So you have to be careful when buying replicas and things that are being sold as trying to look like something almost identical to the bag. Um, it's just, you, you got to be careful. Um, there are, you know, like, I've told you guys about, like, AliExpress and stuff. They'll sell stuff like that. That's coming from China. They're making it there. They're stamping it with the Louis Vuitton, and then they bring it here. I don't necessarily think it's bad to buy it secondhand, a replica, if you were like buying it from a thrift store and it's already there to begin with and you're not like knowingly purchasing it 
And so that's that's a conflict of interest. It's just an opinion based thing. I think if it's being resold to you and you didn't purchase it intentionally because you you know you're illegally kind of in a way buying a false product of trademark, then I think it's fine. But you do you just got to be careful on it. That's all I'm gonna say on it. So this is what we would consider a dupe. Dupes do not have the label. They are similar in style. Plenty of resellers on here, plenty of people on YouTube show off their dupes. It becomes an issue when you have the trademarked name and everything else. So if you have an opinion on it, you can leave me a comment below. I hope it didn't like upset anybody. That's just kind of like my opinion on it. But yes, this is the dupe I'm going to be using for my new purse. So, well, newish purse. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just dig into my bag and we'll see what I have in here. I just changed this recently, so it shouldn't be too much. Um, I'm recording this on my phone, so normally that would be in my purse. I still have this little wallet that I was using, the Betsy Johnson. So I probably won't switch wallets like on camera, but whatever's in here is going to go in here. Um, I still got the peanut butter crackers. I haven't eaten these yet. I don't know what I'm saving these for. I guess I'm just never in the mood for peanut butter crackers. But I think it's always, like, good to have, like, a little something like this in your purse. Because you might, like, get starving and you're stranded somewhere. I don't know. But it's just a good idea to have that, I think. So, pull this bag over here. Open that up. I still got my notebook, but let's see. I think I'm gonna switch into this notebook because it's gold and it'll go with the gold purse. Sorry about the glare there again. It's, I have my light on because it's gloomy outside, but it says all you need is love and this little heart. It's cute. I think that'll be cute in my purse. I'm going to go ahead and just put that in there. Put the other one on the shelf. I always have my phone charger. Never know when you're going to need that. Right on in. Let's see. Tylenol. Always a good idea to have Tylenol with you. Some sort of medication like that. Never know if you're going to need it or somebody else is going to need it. I got my sours still. I like to have those. It's nice like if you're at work and it's dry there and you're thirsty, put one of those in. Um, ibuprofen. I don't know if I'm necessarily, I don't think I have the aspirin. I think I took the aspirin out of my bag so I'm not like carrying, I'm like a walking medicine closet. Um, antacid. Never know when you're going to need something like that, too. People need it. You might need it. Lifesavers. Just have, like, a bunch of random stuff still. You can tell I didn't use this purse for very long. Here's a receipt. I went to Cheddar's for dinner. And I have the receipt still. Don't need that anymore. Still got my lotion. I think I'm going to put that in the front pocket of this bag. I usually keep that sort of stuff in the front. Let's see. I got my nail kit, my Hello Kitty nail kit. I'm gonna just slide that in the middle. Pencil, just slide that in. I'm one of those people I just kind of drop stuff in my purse. With this, the change wallet, I'll probably, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm gonna put that in here because it actually has like a little change slot. I still have the aspirin in here, but I'm not going to carry this anymore. I really don't need it anymore, so I'll put that to the side. I still have another pencil. I got my, I think that's it. Sorry, I was like loud. got my Vaseline lip gloss and then my Hello Kitty mirror. Those. I'm just going to put right in the front pockets here. That way you know right where they are. 
because that seems to be the thing I'm always kind of getting in my purse for. Um, I think that's it. Oh, my hair tie. That's important. Put that in the front. Yeah, so that's a pretty quick uh, change, mostly because I didn't wear this bag for very long. But yeah, there's that. Got this all full. Um, I don't have my key. Yes, I do. Here's my keys. So my keys, I'll put these in my front pocket here. I like doing that. I'll put my phone, probably just put it in the regular compartment when I'm done filming and everything. I like to put my keys in the front because I just always have a hard time finding my keys in the middle compartment because I do carry quite a bit with me. So like I love when a bag has like a front compartment or a back compartment where you can just keep the keys in. So yeah. There's my back switch. Really excited. I love this purse. It's just such a cute one. And when I was doing that video, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to switch into that purse. That's a cute one. There again, it's like gloomy and depressing outside. And it's going into December and I'm still carrying a purse that is gold and sparkly and shiny. I don't, I don't follow the rules of, oh, you can't wear that color for this season. I had, um, I work at Marshall's, as you know, and I had someone that I worked with, I would wear, and everyone has an opinion on this, but I used to wear white pants to work in, like, the winter. Like, I'd wear white skinny jeans and boots, because that's, I mean, that was just a pair of pants I had, and it went with my, my clothes. And she said, well, you can't, you can't wear that, because it's, it's after Labor Day. You can't wear that. It's bad. It's, you just don't do that. And I'm like, where... That's some age-old rule that <laughs> I just don't think really should apply. I don't know. I don't know what your opinion is on that, but I don't I don't look at stuff in that way. I don't look at it in that box of like, okay, this is only something I can wear from this month to this month, and then from this month to this month I need to wear, you know, certain colors and certain things. I think with me for winter time, especially here because it snows and it's just gloomy and depressing for months on end, I like to wear bright colored things because it's it's like the only kind of brightness that I get sometimes. And it just it's just more of my personality. I'm a quirky person. Um I can show you guys here. I'm filming in my this is like my office space. I have like this. This is a bright pink keyboard with my circular I love the circle keys I love stuff like that like quirky things I have let's see I have like pencils sitting here a pack of pencils I bought recently cheetah pink bright pink I mean I just love stuff like that so let me know what kind of style you like what's your style are you quirky are you more um posh and you know, I, whenever I think of, like, a posh person, I think of, like, somebody in New York who, you know, they're really, they like looking sleek and, and their black outfits. And, yeah, I love that style, too. It's just not my personality, per se. And I think it's really fun to, like, hear different people's personalities and, like, who they are as people. So let's let's have conversations like that. Let's get that going. Let's learn stuff about each other. Um, I think it'll be fun. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you stopping by, watching my bag switch, hearing me ramble about random stuff, dupes and replicas and my pink keyboard. <laughs> um, make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video and if you'd like more videos like this, leave me a comment down below about anything you want to talk about. I will reply you. I'm usually always near my phone. <laughs> um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, your night, whatever you got going on, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.